Hi, in this video I want to show you how to get MIDI from your computer onto your Deluge. And I'll be using the track you're hearing right now to demonstrate. I'll show you how to assign incoming MIDI to a synth on the Deluge and how to record multiple tracks simultaneously. So let's get to it. I have three tracks here in Logic, all played by an electric piano sound. Here's what it sounds like. What I would like to do is put those MIDI clips onto my deluge so I can tweak the sounds there. In order to do that, I need to record the MIDI coming from the computer in real time. I make a new MIDI track in Logic by hitting Option, Command and X. Next I have to make sure the MIDI is being sent to the Deluge and not some other device. Where it says Port, I can select the desired MIDI device, in this case Deluge Out. Right below the port I can adjust the channel. I leave it at 1 for now. I'm moving the clip down from the software instrument to the MIDI track now. I solo the MIDI track so we don't hear anything else. You can see how the playhead on the Deluge starts moving when I start the playback in Logic, but we don't hear anything yet. I need to assign the MIDI coming in on channel 1 to this synth. This is done by holding Learn and any of the audition pads while MIDI is coming in. Now the Deluge synth is playing the MIDI clip coming from the DAW. There is still a tiny issue here. The Deluge quantizes MIDI during recording, and the quantization is set to course for what I'm sending it. Luckily, this is an easy fix. I simply have to set it to 30 seconds instead of 16. To get to these settings, hold Shift and press the Select knob. Then choose the Record submenu. There you will find Quan for Quantize and you can select your desired value. I'm pressing back a couple of times to go back out of the settings menu. I hit record on the deluge to arm it for recording. And then I simply start the playback in the DAW. The grid here is set to 16th notes. The white pads indicate that there are notes that can't be accurately represented by the current grid resolution, which means the 30 seconds are quantized correctly. I'll stop the playback manually here. This causes the clip length to be some odd value. To fix this, I simply crop it manually by holding shift and turn in the left right knob until it is exactly 8 bars long. Now I have three clips here, each with a length of 16 bars. It would take quite long to record it all separately. So I will assign them to a different MIDI channel each, which allows me to record everything at once. I created a couple of additional MIDI tracks and am now setting the MIDI channel of one of them to two. Of course, the port is also going to be deluge out. I solo the second MIDI track. I created a second synth clip on the deluge by pressing any of the pads of an unused row. Now I am sending MIDI on channel 2 to the deluge and learning it to this second synth. Next I am going to do the same thing for the third track as well. I move the regions to the MIDI track and set its MIDI channel to 3. I solo the MIDI track so I can assign the MIDI channel to a new Deluge synth. Again I start the playback and then I hold learn plus any of the audition pads on the Deluge. When the audition pads start flashing white I know the MIDI channel has successfully been learned. Now that I have all three synths on the Deluge assigned to a different MIDI channel I can record them all at once. I make sure the deluge is armed for recording and all MIDI tracks in the DAW are active. Then I just start the playback in the DAW. You can see how they are all recording something different now. Then I just let it run through the 16 bars. 
And when it's done, I stop the playback. I also turn off the record button on the deluge. We recorded a little more than 16 bars, so I'll have to adjust the length of each clip here as well. I set the grid size to two bars per pad and I'm making the sequence eight pads long. Now it is exactly 16 bars long. I will have to do this for all three tracks. The alternative would be to set the length of the clips before recording and then having the deluge automatically stop the recording at the end of the clip. Obviously, this still sounds bad since it is just using the first available synth presets. Here are the sounds I came up with for the three parts. The first one is a bellish FM sound. The second one is quite saturated. It reminds me a bit of a harp. And the third one is a sawtooth pad with a good amount of pitch mount. I also added a beat and a proper bass line. So I guess it's time to hear it all in action now. I hope you found this uh, interesting or useful and I hope you're enjoying the music as well. In any case, I would like to thank you a lot for watching. <laughs>